woman even took her boyfriend to rob their own bank. But what was inside was not money but time capsules. After the robbery they let the poor people go in to get the capsules. By the time the time police arrived a group of them had already left. The time in the slum instantly became a lot. The original time order will be out of balance. The time police saw this anomaly on the screen. So they hurriedly released the photos of the two. Nick and Lisa instantly became the most wanted criminals in the city. At night they went to the roof of the building. They suddenly found that prices had risen again. Nick thought that by giving the poor people the time they had stolen, their quality of life would improve a bit. But now it doesn't seem to make any sense. Lisa asked Nick how long it would take to make a difference. Nick casually says at least a million years. Lisa said she didn't have one, but her father did. So the two of them discuss it and take Lisa's father hostage. They went to the top floor and opened the safe. There was a million year old storage device inside. Lisa's father warns Nick. Once this time reaches the ghetto, the whole world's time system will collapse. Although this could change the fate of two generations. But this time order will repeat itself. Because there will always be people who want to live forever. And the price of immortality will be the sacrifice of others. But Nick didn't respond to Lisa's father. Then they took the time storage device to the slum. All the time was distributed to the poor. That's when the time police came after them. Nick had to take Lisa and rush to escape. The two of them made their way to the outskirts of the city. They thought they were finally safe. But soon the time police caught up with them. The two of them now only had a few minutes to spare. At this point the police officer seemed to think of something too. He looked down at his wrist. He only had five seconds left. The time cop died instantly. But the two men also have less than a minute left. At that moment Nick suddenly saw the police car not far away. Maybe the police car has a memory device to replenish the time. Fortunately Nick was the first to run to the car to replenish the time. Then he ran again to his loved one. The same scenario played out again. And this time he beat the clock. Finally the two lived happily ever after.